Shipoke, a freedom fighter and veteran of the liberation struggle, went into exile in 1974. He attended an advanced infantry military training in Kongwa in Tanzania, and he was eventually deployed to the front line as a special military man. Shipoke participated in many battles and decisive engagements with the enemy and because of his performance, he served as a chief of artillery in 1982. His contribution continued after the country's independence. In 1990, he joined the NDF where he served in various capacities including senior commissioned officer with the ring of Colonel until his retirement. The head of state in the message delivered on his behalf saluted Shipoke for having fought bravery towards the total political liberation of Namibia. Therefore, having this excellent testimony of the courageous deeds of patriotic citizens such as our late Comrade Shipoke, let us be encouraged, particularly the young Namibian generations, to draw inspiration as we redouble our efforts in the second struggle for economic freedom of all Namibians. Friends, family, the founding and former presidents send their messages of condolences. He does mourn the passing on of our blood comrades, a military spe specialist, husband, father, brother, and grandfather. May you be strengthened and consoled by the fact that his exceptional life of reality, determination, and love for his country and his people will continue to serve as an inspiration to all. Shipoke, who was conferred an official funeral by the head of state, is survived by his wife and five children. Tanatenia Imbodi, NBC News.